Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 29th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery, our sun, as it has produced an X-class solar flare yesterday, which was reported, but also multiple M-class solar flares. Even just recently, some pretty large new CMEs being forecasted and projected our way. This is the last 48 hours incoming with a little Earth-to-scale imagery. Fiery sunspot region cresting into view. Quite a few plasma filament eruptions helping produce these CMEs that are on their way to Earth. Geomagnetic storms will be prevalent 30th into the 1st of August. Pointing out here the last two days of imagery. Pretty large plasma filament were right there. And then these two numerous sunspot regions interacting with each other. Large X-class solar flare and then multiple M-class solar flares. And just recently, last few images here. Look at the size of this plasma filament that's getting ready to rip away. Look at that. Friends and family, stay aware and prepared. Some amazing images shared here with daily events worldwide. And thank you for tuning in. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Just another way to see our sun in action. Darkened regions here on this view will be plasma filaments and coronal holes. No major coronal holes developing here in view. Amazing look here of our sun the last two days. As there are about a dozen sunspots Earth facing, could see some development of a coronal hole in the southern region of our sun. 171 angstroms here. Amazing images. Look at those plasma loops firing back and forth in between those sunspot regions. Multiple sunspot regions here. And look at these things in action. Especially noting there the northern sunspot. Boom, within 24 hours becomes a sunspot region about 10 times the size of Earth with about four other sunspots following behind. Amazing stuff. Space weather conditions. Currently, we are under R3. Strong radio blackout impacts. Wide area blackout of high frequency radio communication. Loss of radio contact for about an hour on the sunlit side. And under G1 minor geomagnetic instability with our solar winds coming in at 322 kilometers per second. Having a look here at the graph showing the flare classes the last two days. X-ray flux there, X-class solar flare, multiple M-class, and a few of them long duration. Solar proton flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity remains low as well. Sitting at a KP2 for now until all this activity comes our way. Look at these. That's like five CMEs being projected from our sun ejecting from our sun over the past three days. Little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth. But notice these, the first few solar storms are in a northward fashion. It looks like the one coming for the 1st of August might be the strongest out of all these events. But look up tonight, as you will see some auroras out there as far south as the Canadian border if not further south. And as well, also we'll be witnessing the Perseid meteor shower, which will, which will be at its highest of intensity throughout the night tonight. Amazing images here shared with daily events worldwide. Please share this channel. Show you care. Hashtag no fear here. Having a look at the current and most recent ISWA space prediction spiral. That one was projected earlier today. 
that was probably from the plasma filament and then another large one here probably in a southward fashion that was probably the larger plasma filament that i was pointing out in the first few images there in the southern region of the sun southeast region of the sun so heads up everybody solar storms geomagnetic activity on its way to our planet and having a look at all this energy now in motion coming from our sun take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and thanks for all of the love and support to this channel amazing community if not the best community on youtube you guys have gotten me through some pretty rough few years here so i thank you all for watching thanks for all the shares and the cares and the love and the comments keep tuning in premiering daily look at the size of these cmes just recently boom so tonight's aurora forecast and tomorrow tomorrow being on the right will be stronger tonight as far south as quite possibly the tip of lake erie even parts of southern south dakota there's the view line right there and then for tomorrow night same thing about as far south as north dakota so very cool times to be alive and to be able to document all of this together and thanks again for pressing play let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as we've got some strange things happening here 4.9 earthquake california barstow california at a seven kilometer depth followed by 3.5 and a 2.7 but also just east in utah 4.5 magnitude earthquake being reported south of brian head utah as well up into parts of northern uh, gulf of california 3.4 earthquake there notable increasing seismicity still at hawaii it's been pulsing for the past three weeks four weeks into a swarm out of a swarm and then back very deep earthquake today fiji islands 658 kilometer depth that happened about 1 a.m this morning early this morning and not long thereafter we saw a large 6.0 earthquake pangai tonga region after quite a few deep earthquakes actually through the fiji region with the 5.7 585 kilometer depth loyalty islands 5.3 earthquake there massive eruptions at yasser volcano look at these earthquakes both north and south of japan 5.2 magnitudes and as well marina's trench active 5.4 earthquake here south indian ocean rare earthquake 4.7 iran and a 4.4 here reported Afghanistan. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Notable earthquakes here, both sides of the border at Maine and as well Canada, 2.8 earthquakes there. No major swarms to talk about right now. USGS is reporting about 250 earthquakes in a 24 hour period largest being the 6.0 in Tonga, deepest being 686 kilometer depth. Now let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers around the globe. Increasing seismicity across the North American plate right now, a little bit concerning, especially through Texas and most recently in Utah. If you live in an earthquake prone zone and just be ready have a plan and know what to do especially across the pacific northeast a ring of fire let's have a look, quick look here world weather as we've still got some multiple or we've got some large fires burning across southern california and northern california this being the largest in california history Look at how much land it has burned. And we're smoked out skies straight across Canada. Has now moved into parts of Ontario as well. Air quality is not very good. 
multiple wildfires breaking out through Colorado as well. Have a look here at daytime views over the rest of the world. We do have an invest area heading towards Taiwan again, but nothing major. If you want to see the world weather forecast, check out last night's video. Weather forecast up until the first of the month. No major hurricanes here forecast. There is a disturbance in the central Atlantic, but forecast models are not showing anything serious. There is relief for most of Canada right now with the rains. Thank God. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.